Hello and welcome back. So now we want to show the notes on the home screen. But I guess because of some errors it is not shown that. So right here I added E so make sure that you added it database helper. Okay. And also let's just remove this because we don't need that. And from right here remove this widget. And now so we have the async snapshot then the snapshot make sure to import the SQLite and all of that at the top okay let's move down okay sorry right here add a D because it's completed not count okay then let's scroll down right here paste it as well completed not count okay so let's restart our application that had another note by the name of part time and I just select medium and if you see our note as you can see it is showing right here why man let's scroll up so I think there is a problem with our database dot dot file Okay, scroll down to the get note list. Okay, so if you see this insert note, as you can see, here we didn't type dot insert, so make sure to change this to dot insert. And right here, we will remove that and this one as well okay so make sure to make these changes first change this from update to insert and remove this too and now let's just restart our application let's add a note okay as you can see now the note is now adding let's just add another note let's set it on 25 because the priority will be high and now as you can see it is also showing in a line first it shows the old notes and then the new notes according to the date and also let me tell you one thing more which we did up here where is it Tony? Okay, right here so now this if condition means that if the widgets uh, dot note is empty okay as you can see when we come on this uh, add note screen as you can see the widget is empty so that's why it is showing the text add note and add note button but now if we click on this note now as you can see the uh, widget note is now not equals to null as you can see right here and then as you can see it run this else block which the button text is add note and the title text is update note and now let's just update this note to football match and okay that will be the same priority will be high now and now as you can see it is now updated now let me update uh, these two as well the next one will be movie time update as you can see movie time now let me update this and the programming time priority will be at the same medium click on update now as you can see it is showing accordingly to the date and now if we add another note on August 13 then it will be shown in the middle of the movie time and programming time so let's just add park 
let's say to August 18 and then there it is going to be medium now as you can see it is added in between and we can also update it and now if we click on this checkbox now as you can see it shows that this note is completed and now as you can see the, these values are also updating so now as you can see for from the four nodes the three are now completed and as you can see four by four is completed okay so now you guys know where to make the changes make sure to change this to dot insert and then remove that to where and where args okay inside this insert note function note the update function now we want to call this delete note and we want to show the delete button right here when the user wants to update the note so if we go back to the add note screen and scroll down below right here where this container ends right down below you will type widget dot note so we will say if the widget note is not equals to null okay this means that if the user is on the update note page then what we will do we will say uh, if it is not equals to null then we will create a container and inside this container the margin will be inside dot summit for vertical 20.0 the height will be 60 and the width will be double dot infinity okay and then we will add decoration so decoration will be box decoration then the color will be the primary color and the, the border radius will be border radius dot circular 30.0 then after this right here we will create a child then a elevated button and inside this elevated button we will create a child then text the text will be delete note this will be the style and then inside outside this text right here we will say on pressed and on the on pressed we will call the underscore delete function we will create this function so don't worry and then right here in the else block we will show a sized box dot shrink that's it so if the user is on the add node then we will not show the delete button so that's why we type else size box dot shrink now let's just quickly create this function at the top okay so after this submit right here we will create it right here we will simply say database helper dot instance dot delete node then which dot node dot id and after this when the user uh, delete the node then we will redirect the user to the home screen so we add a navigator and after this we will say widget dot update note list okay we will update the note list and that's it this should be an error let me just cut it from here and paste it after this And then right here we will add these brackets and now if we restart our application so this is our home screen now if we click on it as you can see on the add node screen it didn't show the delete button but now if we click on this now as you can see it shows the delete button let me add another note let's just give it some name 
click add note as you can see here is the note if we click on this delete note as you can see we are redirected back to the home screen and the note is deleted so now this is our to do list or you can say crud and we created this using flutter and sqflight database and in here we can insert a data we can update a data we can delete a data and that's what we did in crud or to do list and also we have this checkbox okay to show the note as done or complete and also we are updating our app in real time as you can see so our project is completed and see you guys